Director General, Ambassador Valero, Dr. Al Qasim, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, it's an honor and a great pleasure to welcome all of you on behalf of the Cultural Activities Committee of the UN Office at Geneva to the concert Pianists for Peace. This event takes place as part of a wide-ranging program to mark the International Day of Peace today, the 21st of September, and it also celebrates the 70th anniversary of our United Nations. A warm thank you, first of all, to the permanent mission of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela, uh, to the United Nations Office and other international organizations in Geneva for bringing us this concert this evening in collaboration with the Geneva Center for Human Rights Advancement and Global Dialogue and the UNESCO Geneva Liaison Office. A special thanks, of course, goes to the five pianists who are placing their talents this evening at the service of peace. Alexander Jindin, Stanislav Krestenko, Yaran Kolberg, Bishar Haruni, and Francois Xavier Poissa. It's now my great honor to welcome the Director General, Mr. Michael Muller, to take the floor. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, a warm welcome to tonight's concert, Pianist for Peace, and a very special thank you to the Permanent Mission of Venezuela for its patronage of this event. Since 1981, the International Day of Peace is observed each year on this day. The theme of this year's commemoration is Partnerships for Peace, Dignity for All, which aims to highlight the importance of all segments of society working together to strive for peace. We will witness a celebration of partnership tonight. Five pianists will be playing renowned melodies that call for peace. Alexander Gindin from the Russian Federation, Stanislas Krishtenko from Ukraine, Yaren Kohlberg from Israel, Bishar Haroni from Palestine, and Francois-Xavier Poisa from Switzerland will join hands on the pianos playing Rachmaninoff, Gluck, Wagner, Liszt, Smetana, and Verdi. More than 30 years ago, the International Day of Peace was introduced with a vision to have just one day when fighting stops, one day when no one has to die from violent conflict. Seventy years ago, the United Nations were established with the vision to achieve a world of peace every day. We're not quite there yet. Today we see mounting numbers of conflict causing people to flee from their homelands and seeking new homes elsewhere. With today's event, uh, today's event sends a powerful signal from International Geneva the city that stands for peace, rights, and well-being. Let us call on everyone today to put their arms down and play music together that transcends cultural, political, and religious cleavages and emphasizes joint happiness. With peace one day, we can immunize, we can immunize children and deliver food and medicine to war-torn, otherwise inaccessible areas. With peace every day, mothers and fathers can live together and see their children grow up in good health, study, and become themselves ambassadors of peace rights and well-being. Let tonight be a night of peace and rights and also of well-being as we rejoice in timely, timeless melodies that will cul culminate in Beethoven's Ode to Joy with Schiller's words celebrating brotherhood and unity of all mankind. I wish you a very enjoyable evening. Thank you very much. Thank you, Director General. It's now my great pleasure to give the floor to Ambassador Jorge Valero, permanent representative of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. Sir, you have the floor. Mr. Michael Muller, Director General of the United Nations Geneva, Excellence, ladies and gentlemen, among sublime things that are capable of softening the human soil, majestic is the echo of the piano. When peace departs, the garden becomes withered and the song of the night cinder cannot 
be heard. Welcome those who give us their pages at the United Nations. They are torches of hope in the ecumenical song. Hope palpitate when superb officiant of the transcendence share the soap of the genre populated by dreams. The rainbow announces an identical revival where the gods and men dwell in peace. The prophet exhort with their psalms, praise God in his sanctuary, please him with harp and lyre, with strings and flutes, with resounding symbols. In this new time, let us praise God with the transhuman tunes inherited from the Sida, the monochord, and the harp ciscord. Bartolomeo Cristofori, the original builder of the piano, who reconciles the keyboard with the stringing of a strings, give us permission to so tonight we inhale the aroma of fraternity. Five virtuos in this ceremony. Alexander Stanislav, sublime a spell of heart. Cristenko Jaron, melody of resounding reverse. Jaron Colver, brilliance of the poetic fire. Bichara Haroni, symphony of altruistic preaching. And Francois Xavier Poinsant, virtuos pianoforte lyricism. These artists offer us their courts to celebrate the International Day of Peace and the 70th anniversary of the United Nations. The forum was created to maintain peace in adherence with the principle of justice and international law. The UN is committed to promote the equilibrium between the universe and world peace. In the first world war amongst harmonicas and by pipes, O Holy Night was sung. Magical chant to achieve a Christmas size fire. Music dissipates the calamities of war and open avenues to treasure friendship. Venezuela, my country, has made music a school for peace. The Simón Bolívar Hughes Symphony Orchestra, established by José Antonio Abreu and lead by the very well-known Gustavo Dudamel, fostered the polyphonic encounter for nations. Simón Rattle, director of the Berlin Philharmonic, expressed the most important thing for the future of music is happening in Venezuela. The music of the night set. Congratulations. And the constellation of hope is announced. Let us listen to the reverend cantatas of the time. May the county of the silence host this sacred ceremony. 
because as Miguel de Cervantes said in Don Quixote, where, is, where there is music, there can be no evil. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Excellency. I'd li now like to invite Dr. Hanif Hassan Ali Al Kasim, who's chairman of the Geneva Center for Human Rights Advancement and Global Dialogue, to address the audience. Excellencies, distinguished guests, colleagues, and friends, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor and privilege to be standing here on this special occasion as chairman of the Geneva Center for Human Rights Advancement and Global Dialogue, a co-organizer of this unique event. Today, on this very first day of autumn, we have gathered to celebrate two fundamental recurrences, the 70th anniversary of the United Nations and the International Day of Peace and to honor past achievements in order to attain greater gains towards sustainable peace and human rights enjoyment. It is to promote principles of peace, human rights, and mutual respect that the Geneva Center opened its door in January 2014 and has spread no effort in, advance, in advancing the cause of human rights by advocating for international and for inter intercultural and interreligious dialogue. As you all know, the preamble of UNESCO's constitution states that since wars began in the minds of men, it is the minds of men that the defense of peace must be constructed. The promotion of peace through dialogue is the core purpose of the Geneva Center and, and, uh, and is also the heart of the uh, commemorative uh, concert. This is why the Geneva Center deemed important to co-organize such a unique concert. We indeed think that music and its universality has the power to convey profound messages and to bridge gaps between cultures, religions, and nationalities. Music represents the voice of human spirit and constitutes powerful, a powerful instrument to promote peace and dialogue. Tonight's concert will definitely serve as a space for dialogue and peace. We have with us world-renowned pianists from countries where the construction of peace and the elimination of war have been playing a central role. They will perform and inter interpret classical music pieces and communicate a common manifestation in favor of peace, human rights, and development. On behalf of the Geneva Center, I would therefore like to welcome and express our deep gratitude to our distinguished pianist for accepting our invitation and for providing us with an, an ecosystem interpretation of well-known music works. And Mr. Alexander Jinden for creating the original art, artist concept that served as a basis for this concert. I would like then I would like to thank the Director General of the United Nations Office in Geneva, Mr. Michael Moore, and the Cultural Activities Committee for patronizing the extraordinary concert of for peace. The permanent mission of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela to the United Nations of, uh, Office and other international organizations in Geneva, along with the UNESCO Liaison Office in Geneva for co-organizing this event. Our main sponsors, thanks to which this event could not have taken place, the Abu Dhabi uh, Music and Art Foundation, Jan Lee Vintage, the University of Geneva, Intercontinental Hotel Geneva, and cultural and business events. Our work team, without whom this event could not have been possible. Valérie Vier, Annie Jasperin, Valentina Pascal, Pascale and Ricardo Espinizo. I would finally like to thank our audience 
whose presence is invaluable and indispensable for uh, in, in bridging different cultures and engage in dialogue. We hope this event will motivate continued dialogue that will lay the foundation for a long-term constructive cooperation towards the promotion of a long-lasting peace. Thank you for your attention. Enjoy the performance. Thank you very much, Dr. al Kazim, and thank you to all of you for joining us on the International Day of Peace. Before we start, just a small change in the program, the printed program that's in front of you. Uh, in place of uh, Franz Liszt's Rakoski March, we will be treated to um, Sergei Prokofiev's final classical symphony. And I invite you to enjoy the evening. Thank you.
pleasure to invite the artistic director, Alexander Gildin, to take the floor. Please, Alexander. Ladies and gentlemen, Mesdames and Messieurs, уважаемые дамы и господа, I'm very excited and feel pride of representing my native Russian and its long-suffering people in the historic place in the International Day of Peace. It is impossible to imagine the world music culture without the contribution of the great Russian composers Glinka, Tchaikovsky, Rachmaninov, Prokofiev, Stravinsky. Let me say some words in my native Russian. 70 лет назад закончилась Вторая мировая война, самая кровопролитная и жестокая в истории человечества. Она унесла около 65 миллионов жизней. Только Советский Союз потерял 27 миллионов своих граждан. 61 государство, 80% населения нашей планеты было втянуто в этот конфликт, в котором впервые было применено ядерное оружие. Цивилизация была поставлена на грани исчезновения. Понимая ответственность перед будущими поколениями, мировое сообщество сумело извлечь правильные выводы из этого страшного урока. 70 лет назад, в год окончания Второй мировой войны, была создана Организация Объединенных Наций, главной задачей которой стало предотвращение в будущем военных конфликтов. Зал Ассамблей – это сердце организации, форум, где основной темой является забота о сохранении мира. Музыка, как и любое настоящее искусство, всегда объединяла тех, кто стремится к прекрасному и любит красоту мира. Сегодня для меня высокая честь – и уникальная возможность показать влияние музыки на умы и сердца людей. Я искренне верю, что люди разных национальностей, культур и вероисповеданий могут жить и творить в гармонии и взаимном уважении друг к другу. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm immensely grateful to my distinguished colleagues from Israel, Palestine, Switzerland and Ukraine, to my dear friends, exceptional pianists. Your performance here today is the musical and civil duty. The greatness of music exhibited in immortal masterpieces that bring musicians of different nations and religious backgrounds together on the same stage can unite not just the hearts and souls of the listeners, but whole countries and nations as well. After all, borders are merely conventional lines on map, while music is free of any limits and borders. This is our soul. Hope for peace and happiness of future generations. My honor is to introduce you, François Xavier Poiza, Switzerland. Yaron Kohlberg, Israel. Bishara Haruni, Palestine. Stanislav Kristenko, Ukraine. Thank you, my dear friends. I'll